Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Sort of a sad day in wet shaving sort of things. Companies come and go in this industry, in this hobby, quite a lot. It's something that I've seen in the three years I've been part of it. A lot of companies either start out, do really well, and then don't manage to sell enough products. Some people may jump out of the main job into the soap making world or the shaving world, and it never quite works out for them. And sadly, a lot of products, which are excellent, don't end up getting made anymore. And one of those such products is Elbado. Elbado for men, based out of Ontario in Canada. I've got family in Ontario. I've just been recently to Ontario and I love the country, I love, I love Canada. And John Carinci, who is the man that created Elbado for men, it's an awesome bloke and he really looked after me in the beginning and, I, and I, to be honest, I sort of feel bad because things that he sent me would, would have been part of his sort of downfall of sending things out. You've got to try and get your name out there. But I like to think that the videos that I've done have sort of helped him along the way. As you guys know, when I use a product, whether it's sent to me or I purchase it, no matter what happens, I try to give the most honest feedback I can on it. Of course, there is always that sort of, oh, it's been sent to me, is it in the back of your head that the product's good or not? The thing is, most products that are sent to people now to test, whether it be a razor, a brush, or a shaving cream or soap, they're all high quality. There's nothing out there that is not good quality anymore. And as such, this is one of the best creams on the market. Comes in a pump bottle, 3.4 ounces, it lasts ages, smells incredible. You can use it with or without a brush. With that being said, I'm going to be doing a head and a face shave. I'm going to knock both of them out in the one video, just as a testament to Elvaro. I'm going to do my head shave, just putting it on my hands and rubbing it all over. And then I'll do my face shave with a brush and build up a lather. So here we go. Two squirts of Elvaro. I'm just going to wet my hair, my hair, what hair? <laughs> wet my head just a little bit more and then just rub this all over. The scent is absolutely incredible. Absolutely gutted. But hopefully John has got something else in the works. He's obviously a very talented man. He makes a great product. His labeling and his, his ideas have been great. His scents have been lovely. The other one that I have, Pacific Coast Kahuna. Smells very much like, for me anyway, cool water from Davidoff. As you can see, from a good rub around, oh, it's very slick. It's a really slick cream. Another thing I like about this cream is it's almost 100% organic. I think it's 97 and 93%. Let's have a look. It is 92% organic. There are the ingredients, I think. Yep, that's the ingredients. Avocado and shea butter. It's, look, it's, it's a sensational cream. One thing I noticed with it, it doesn't create a lot of soap scum. Nice bit of build up on the back of my ears, is it? Right, the razor. Above the tie, R1 Calypso, which is an aluminium razor, made in America, CNC machined. I love the colouring, I love that little bit of sort of dark it's almost a glossy type blue satin gloss effect. And I've got a brand new Gillette Nass set in there. I'm going to use this razor for my head and face shave, believe it or not. Trying to condition the skin once again for a new incoming razor. And here we go. The Gillette Nass set is a very smooth blade. It works very well on this razor. In fact, to be honest, it works better in this razor than it does in the calf. And even though this razor is very light, I still don't really put much pressure at all. Just a nice, fairly light touch. The blade angle on this razor is very, very effective and very efficient. Now I'm not going to finish I've got no cream on there, I can see that. No cream in that part of my head. Thankfully. Above the tie. Plowed through it. I'm not going to finish my head shave with this razor. I do have work today. And I want to try and get out on time. As much as I love my hobby. Well, I see this as a hobby. It's a necessity for work. but it's now an enjoyment factor for me, something that I look forward to every day. 
for every second or third day. Now I've got two and a half, three days growth in my face as well, so I'm looking really looking forward to getting stuck in and getting this whipped off with this razor. This is a very efficient razor. And I did find that the Calypso, which is this one, the aluminium version, shaves better for me than what the, the stainless steel one did. Even though, essentially, they should be the exact same parameters, exact same head, the exact same blade gap and exposure and everything else, I don't know why it was different. The R1 stainless felt almost, for me, too efficient, too aggressive. And that is a stunning first pass. So into the sink out, which is absolutely chock block full of hair and lather now. The slickness on the Elvado cream is really good. I mean, it's it's one of the better creams on the market. I don't think it quite comes close to the, that cream that I get from, from Moon Soaps. I mean, it is truly exceptional. And even Katie's Bubbles cream, I have to say. I'm not a big fan of Katie's Bubbles soap. I find the soap doesn't quite come up to the best of the best. It's really good, but not that good. But his cream that I think it's Chris Cullen makes the Katie's Bubbles is really, really good stuff. In fact, here we go. Do you know what? Just to highlight how good Elvado is, I'm going to be using my Coles 5 blade cartridge razor to finish off, and I'm not even going to put any lather on. I'm not going to put any more cream because as you're about to see it's not required it's just not required at all now it'll be just my luck that I slice my head open here but that'll be through rushing not taking my time and making an error more than the, the actual slickness of or the residual slickness. Now this isn't something I normally do, I'm just doing this to highlight how good this cream is, even though it's going out out of business, or shutting shop I suppose, I don't know if it went out of business, but at the end of the day everyone's got to make a living, and if it's not quite making you the living that you need to pay your bills and get by, then you need to look at other things. As a small business owner myself, I totally get that. I do work full time now, and that was a almost enforced choice with our kids getting older. You guys out there that have got loads of kids, I mean, I've got three, but if you've got kids, even one, the older they get, you realize how much more expensive they become. And you want to try and give your kids every, every stepping stone in life to, to achieve, generally, what we as parents didn't manage to achieve when we were kids. Trying to help them and guide them past the mistakes that you made and keep them on the straight and narrow. So I don't know whether that's been part of John's thought process in, in moving out of Elvaro shaving or Elvaro for men. And on to new pastures. And I hope it works well for you, mate. You're an awesome bloke. And your customer service was excellent. You always replied to messages swiftly. And like I say, you, you, if anything, you were part of the drive for my channel in the beginning as well. You know, you sent me some nice products, some beautiful products. You sent me everything you ever made, actually, I think. Mayan vanilla was another scent, which smelled very much like cella. Look at that. BBS, bing bang bong. Doesn't get much easier than that. And I'm sure there's people out there that want to try Elvado. And I hope you can get a hold of some. There's, there'll be plenty of it floating about on buy sell trades and things eventually. That's how it always goes. Most people buy things and then get bored of them. The reason I've kept these in the den is because it's an exceptional cream. I love the scents. I'm a real big fan of citrus scents. 
and cool water is one of my favourite scents of all time. It was my teenage scent when I used to go out when I was younger. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to fill the sink up. I'm going to get my brush pump. One, two, three. Let's not hold back. It only needs two, but I'm going to put three. I'm just going to wet my face. I've got a fair bit of growth here. And then normally I would just paint this in and then start lathering, but because it's so deep in the knot, I'm just going to splay the brush straight away. Well, too much water. I hope everyone's enjoying the new format on the videos I've managed to get, finally, since I've moved away from Mac, believe it or not, and I'm a massive Mac advocate, it is the, the Mac keynote tonight as well for the, for the new iPhones and whatever else they're releasing. I will most likely always have Mac in my, in my household, especially more for the kids. You know, if they lose their phones, you can track them. If they get lost and, and you're struggling to contact them, you can still sort of track them and look after them. It's not about being invasive and tracking your kids everywhere, but it just gives you that a little bit more, you know, if someone steals the phone, you can track it a bit, hopefully. If they steal your kid, you can track them, hopefully. Just going to add some water. I forgot to say, this is my Celtic Leo Frio brush. Rio, Leo Frio. I think it's Frio, but I'm not sure. Makes a beautiful brush. This has got a 24mm genuine tuxedo knot from AP Shave Co. I say genuine because it's genuine and pretty much still the best. All the imitation knots. Apart from turn and shave and wolf whiskers, don't quite cut the mustard. They're not as soft, they're not as high quality in my opinion. But there you can see, you know, that's that's a cracking lather. Very easy to make. I added one little section of water. It's dense, it's creamy. It's absolutely brilliant. The scent is exceptional. Right, so here we go. Once again, with the Above the Tie Calypso R1, Gillette Nasset, technically second use because I've just used it on my head once. And with the green, here we go. Extremely light touch. I feel like I've got a cut in my finger, but I can't see anything. I'm really trying to work on this because I think over the last little while I think I've been putting too much pressure on when I'm shaving on my face. Now that's across the green. So nice little short steps like so. The very light touch. A little bit of pressure, but not much. This is generally where I get all my nicks and my weepers and my cuts. See, I've got a weeper there already. Now, this feels more efficient, a little bit more aggressive than the carve on the C plate, definitely. I wouldn't say it's as smooth, it's nowhere near as smooth, but it is a very smooth razor still. It's just that the carb is exceptionally smooth. Here we go. I'm 
I've got two little weepers there. And that is from going across the grain. Someone's mentioned it before. It's just too difficult with my neck being so skinny and you can't see. There's a lot of little bumps and stuff on there and trying to go across the grain can cause me a few issues. So I sacrificed that for a couple of weepers. Been and watch the kids, my two boys running today in the school carnival. My youngest, who is just a, a winner, he wants to win everything, even when he doesn't really stand a chance. I finished last in both of his races in the 100 metres, 75 metres sprint, and the 200 metres. But he runs in the A grade, which is the top group in his, in his year. So out of all the kids, he's running against the seven best kids in his year. And he's the shortest kid in his class, in his whole year, sorry, not this class, but he's the shortest kid in his year. So out of, say, I don't know how many kids he's got in his year, but there's about 60 or 70 of them, including all the girls, and he's the shortest one. So he finds it really hard to compete with the taller kids, even though in his mind, he thinks he's going to win which is definitely the attitude to have. The problem is he gets so upset when he doesn't win. Oh, beautiful lime scent, lovely slickness. And here we go, ladder number two. Whereas my eldest boy didn't actually make the, the A or B grade. He just ran in, I think it was the third best sort of group, which would be C grade, I suppose. And he finished fifth, but he was happy with that. He's not a fantastic runner, he knows that. He just goes out and gives it his best and enjoys it. He certainly, it's took him a little while, but he's starting to learn now that you can't win everything. And he did quite well when he was younger. And sometimes you've got to learn to, you've got to learn to lose before you can learn to win. And my youngest quite, hasn't quite grasped that yet. He still gets really upset if he doesn't win, whether it be soccer, running, throws, long jumps, you name it. If he doesn't win it, or his team doesn't win it, he's not a happy chappy. So I'm just trying to embed it in him that it doesn't matter what sport you do or what, what you do, you know, you could you can run the run the race of your life, play the game of your life and soccer or any other sport that you play and still lose. But it doesn't make you a shit person, it doesn't make you shit at what you do, it doesn't mean you crap at it. It just means that at that particular time, on that particular day, you weren't good enough, someone else was better than you. you just got to work towards growing and becoming better and stronger. And hopefully, that will sort of rub off on him. I was certainly much more like my eldest boy in terms of that. I've always been a, I've always been a humble loser. I always want to win. But, you know, sometimes you just get beat by a better team. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you lose and you get beat by the team that's worse. And you just got to cop that. That's that's the way it is sometimes and you can't do anything about that. <sighs> Crack and cream. really feel the blade on the ATT as well, and above the tie, and the Calypso. I'd love to try an M plate, meet mile plate. But to be honest, if you use a really light touch with these razors, you still get the same shave. In many ways it's better, because it's more efficient. I mean, one of the reasons I really enjoy this razor is, hopefully you can hear it, but the feedback from aluminium razors is really nice. It's got a sort of, 
raspy, clean sound. And like now I'm not really hearing it at all. Those little weepers have just popped back open again. Look at that, that slickness is superb. Yeah, so sad to see them go. If you've got any Alvaro products, certainly, in my opinion, you should be keeping hold of them and using them because they're, they're excellent, especially for travel. I know a lot of guys out there travel the world and travel all the time for work. And if you're a FIFO worker, these things can be taken on the plane as far as I'm aware, I think. 100 mils, I think you're allowed on a plane, is that right? I should know because I've been travelling to and from America now for a while. sure it's 100 mils. So this is 100 grams which I think essentially is 100 mils. So you can take them all on the plane, there's no alcohol in the splash. It's witch hazel based, there's no alcohol in it all so you can take that on with you. Obviously you can't take your blades but that's a very small minor thing. really close. Let's try a bit against the grain. I don't normally, this is quite an aggressive razor for me since I've since I've switched over to carbs. So let's just see how it feels. bad. That feels quite nice. Nice light touch. Of course this would be a lot easier if I could use my left hand. But How close is that? Well, of course you don't know, but I can feel how close it is. <laughs> Very close for me. I'm just going to touch up around my lips, mainly the bottom lip. I'm pretty sure most guys are the same. I hate leaving a bit of hair around my lips. Everywhere else I can live with, I can survive. Sometimes I look in the mirror at work and I've left a little bit there and it just doesn't bother me. But if I leave any around my lips, it does my head in. There we are. Yeah, in terms of creams, You'll be hard pressed, very hard pressed to find something better to be honest. The only two that I can really think of that come to mind straight away is the 
Moon Soaps, Amaretto Speciale, and Katie's Bubbles Soap. I've got some other creams. I've got some other creams that are good. But they don't come anywhere near as good as that. You know that. And the ingredients that are in there. You know you you are paying for more premium ingredients. Everything pretty much in this bottle here, apart from a very small amount of product, is organic. Albeit it's put inside plastic bottles. Yes, I get it. I understand. But at the end of the day, a lot of things come down to cost, especially in small business, especially when you're starting out. You can start branching out into more premium stuff, reusable tubs, you know, glass bottles, which Elvado do use for the poche of things. That is a, for me, super, super close. Pretty much from what I can feel, irritation free. I've got a couple of little weepers there. I've got a couple against the grain here. But that's extremely close. My head's BBS. Slickness is phenomenal. The product's phenomenal and the scent is incredible. So you cannot go wrong if you do by chance get a stab at grabbing all the sun. I mean, you can see I've used quite a fair bit of that. If you do get a chance to grab some, I, I highly recommend using it. Brilliant stuff. Right, I'm going to put a little splash of, give it a shake, Elvaro Aftershave Tonic Royal Tahitian Lime. And this stuff smells incredible. This has got more of a more of a minty vibe to it. Whew, yeah. I can't remember if there's any there's no menthol in this actually from memory. You just get a nice cooling sensation from the mint. And it's like a it's like peppermint, but it's very, very well blended in, so you get that minty scent, but it's not like the mint overtakes the scent of the, the citrus. But it's definitely there, it's probably the more prominent scent of everything else in the splash. This little weepers are still going. I'll let that dry while that's drying. So it was Royal Tahitian Lime Shaving Cream. That's the bottle size, I don't know if it fits in full height. The brush today was my Leo Frio Custom Celtic Brush. With the hoops, I'm on the boys who pumped Rangers last week, two weeks ago. 24mm Tuxedo Knot, the original AP Shave Co Tuxedo Knot, which is the best in my opinion. For the head shave and the face shave, I use the Above the Tie R1 Calypso, all aluminium construction with a brand new Nasset blade from Gillette. I'm not sure where the Nasset blades are made, I think it could be India or Thailand or something like that. Really smooth, really comfortable, really efficient, does a great job. I finished off my head shave with the Coles 5 blade cartridge razor. Now, I can't remember the name of the company that actually makes this razor, but it seems to be one of those universal, all around the world type things. It does have a little blade here for trimming your nose and stuff like that under here, but it's shit. It doesn't really work. In fact, that blade's a little bit locked, which is a bit of an issue with this razor. It doesn't have the best flow through. I don't know whether I can actually get that on there. See if I can get that to sort. I'll just move it backwards and forwards slowly, and you might see where the light goes through and where there's lots of plastic running the full length of it. But the back of it has absolutely no real rinseability, if that's even a word, I think it is. So you can't even rinse it from the back, really. Right, let me just have a bit of a feel. Do you know what? I was going to put on the aftershave balm as well. But to be honest, it doesn't really need it. The ingredients, if you have a look on there, what we've got, water, witch hazel, aloe vera juice, polysorbate, sodium lactate, 100% natural essential oil fragrance, Lexgard, which is glycerol, caprolate, and glycerol, and desilinate. And there we go. And, I mean, the labeling's wonderful. It really did a cracking job of that. Made in Canada, Bioplanet, Newmarket, Ontario. Elvado for men. Eco cert approved preservative. Just wonderful products made by a wonderful bloke who built up a great little business and sadly it's went went the other way for him and he's heading somewhere else to do something else. So good on you, John, for giving it a good crack, mate. And who knows, you might end up coming back um, once you've sorted everything else out and start making it again, which would be great. You guys stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.